Hi guys, I'm here to show you some color mixing for the Sunkist C palette. Uh, you, this contains almost all of the colors you will need to capture every mood, every time, uh, every aspect of anything related to the sea. The sea is never simply blue. Uh, I mean there are so many aspects, there are so many different colors that are present in the sea and just making it as blue would simply destroy what it is about. So uh, I can as an example I uh, mean look at this one. This is a view of a sunset at this point. It doesn't really look blue or say it would look a lot more than blue. Somehow a lot of colors combine uh, to make up different colors into the sea. So at sunset it almost looks brown, at night it will look indigo, it will look grey. Bang in the day it looks blue but even here you can see that there is a luminosity here. This is where the light shines through the wave because water is transparent so when the wave rises up you can see that the light should shine through and for that you need a different color i feel that yellow is the best way to add this luminosity to your paintings light blue simply doesn't work yellow even it becomes green it's fine the ocean is more green than blue take this one this is almost that time where you know the sun is about to set there's like all uh, it's not set yet but it's just about to set that it's not daylight but it's not evening as well if you can see and the color of the sea is also so totally different here so the sea can be clear the sea can be muddy the sea can be Mm, I would say tropical waters look different than say the waters at your Juhu beach that's because there's a lot of impurities mixed in it so there really is no limit to the colors that you can create to the colors of the ocean another important factor is that you can literally create a sea out of well black and white as you as artists generally do um, tonal sketches and uh, if you see tonal sketches they're just simply done with a graphite pencil or black and white and you can still make out that it's a C so a lot of importance should be given to tonal values instead of simply colors but colors can also create mood differences and this applies not just to watercolor paintings but for other mediums as well as an example these are some acrylic and oil paintings that I've done as you can see there's a two different paintings that two totally different moods and yet each one is beautiful each one depicts the ocean in its own beautiful way so i'm going to show, show you how to create different colors of the sea we'll start with the greens they i believe the most important So we will put the greens over here. We need the phthalo green on its own. Can be used. I uh, I've used a bit of phthalo green on its own here in these areas. So yes, it can very well be used on its own if you want. the key to remember is where would you keep the darker areas and where would you keep the lighter ones so like you see over here this is the rising of a wave okay and just beneath it the wave will cast a shadow which is why it's going to be darker also the base of the wave you can see more clearly here this is the base of the wave this is where the water is most concentrated these this will be the darkest then the part where the wave casts a shadow that will be darker it will be dark at the top because 
the water here is still transparent it's just it just has a double layer but it is still transparent so it's going to go lighter as it comes down and the luminosity is highest over here where the water is rising okay so phthalo green phthalo green can be used also in combination with other blues to create that gorgeous turquoise color I'll show you here okay now I'm gonna get some ultramarine can't see that on the camera maybe you can can you creates a really dark rich turquoise value that you can use and then you have the thalo which is a very very strong color you can achieve amazing depth amazing darkness using thalo and both the thalos, thalo blue and thalo green. Look how rich it looks. You can use the yellow for the lighter areas in combination with any of your blues. Let me show it to you. Yellow is truly the best for luminosity. Please do not use, please don't lighten the hues of these colors even if you just glaze the yellow on top of it it looks absolutely gorgeous yellow really gives it that shine and i find it the best for adding it wherever i want my tones to be lighter so this one is yellow in combination with ultramarine oh sorry marine blue the taxi yellow in combination with marine blue Thalo is a completely transparent non-granulating color so you get a much more vibrant and clean mix with this. You can pull them to see how they look and they're not concentrated. I have used the yellow over here I had already covered the area in marine and ocean blue both a combination of it and then I used the yellow to simply mix in the color and look how wonderful it looks you don't have to mix it separately with the blue you just have to add the yellow and you it's going to give you the best result out there. Raw Sienna also works like yellow. It will give you muted greens, I would say. They are not muddy per se. Muted, I like the word muted better because a lot of times nature provides you with not so vibrant colors and i find muted colors the best for working with natural sea paintings or seascapes landscapes trees bushes that is why i consider thalo or viridian to be a very good green for mixing now as you can see with the marine blue it resulted in such a nice gorgeous turquoise color and even so with the thalo blue as well these don't look that unnatural do they okay so this is raw sienna with the oh 
the this thalo is too much thalo is a very very strong color so you've got to be really careful while using it i think i've covered it entirely in thalo okay we're gonna go in and mix again later on let's use the ultramarine here okay as you can see it's turned out into a very almost olive green looks more gray on the camera but I swear it's olive let's mix a little bit of sienna into the table Can you see the color has changed? I guess you can't. I'll just pull it a little so you can see. Look how gorgeous that looks, isn't it? You can use all of these colors to represent the water. In different tones different variations you can get whatever you want through these green colors it can also be used for the sky I will share you some violets for the sky Okay, this is my strawberry kiss. My colors are a bit my colors are a bit muddy, so many many apologies for that. It's because I was painting with them and I'm not a very clean painter. The color red is much more cooler than it looks on the it's looking almost cadmium red in the camera but it really isn't it's more like magenta not even magenta but yes more like alizarin with ultramarine it can become muted again because it's a very cool red I find these amazing for stormy skies awesome stuff Halo again see it is super strong you really just need to swipe it okay so ultramarine is a blue that leans towards red I'm sorry I think I got it wrong the last time ultramarine is a blue that leans towards red it's a warmer blue and it gives you violet, a cleaner violet. The thalo will give you a muddier one, muddy yet intense. Yeah. And one very another interesting thing that I want to show you is making my favorite indigo I'll mix it up here I add halo I add ultramarine cool and warm tones they can neutralize each other sometimes and add in a little bit of the red deepens the hue and gives you an amazing Indioish color. Let's 
this is simply simply amazing look how gorgeous and pigmented that is okay I mean these are uh, colors stormy skies cloudy skies they will look amazing of course if you want bright clear skies you can use the blues on its own like I've used here this one is ultramarine this is ultramarine violet that was the marine blue with the strawberry kiss and the orange we're gonna mix the orange this one was a very 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 watered down mixture of uh, the strawberry kiss and the marine blue again gives you that almost five o'clock six o'clock for the rocks seashores uh, you can well if you see here you can add any blue to your orange mixture to create this uh, the other option is using raw sienna add a red little red to your raw sienna to get a wonderful rich brown Can you see that? Get this nice proper mud color. I would say you can add in a little yellow for a little warmth if you like. If you want it cooler and just mix it up in here okay this is my indigo and just mix this separately over here the red okay now I'm gonna add in my ultramarine or marine We're gonna get a much cooler brown. You can play around with the mix, adding in, mix it with this indigo here to create this almost distant gray. This is like a proper neutral gray. Let me try the orange again. I have cleaned up the... I have tried to clean up the red. So you can see the actual color over here. Okay. Now it's time for the yellow. Okay, so this is a much better orange, right? Much better orange. Okay, so you can mix, match a lot of things to use in your oceans, to use in your seascape paintings. You can use so many colors you can create so many objects I will share my tutorials my process videos of the ones that the paintings that I have created and here I will mention the colors used the combinations 
as far as possible please keep on the lookout thanks for watching have a great day do check out the palette and let us know if you like it